Join now on the broadcast. Where are they now with FP Gannett? Uh, FP before touching on Cape Breton. I wanted to start on something I remember actually from your time in Cape Breton. This was discussed. Uh, you were debating as to whether or not you wanted to go into the QMJHL. Some college aspirations. Tell us about that uh, process. Absolutely. I was uh, decent at school and was thinking about NCAA route. I think as a teenager, it's kind of hard seeing all your buddies going to major junior and kind of sitting out a couple of years in junior A to try and find a commitment from a school. So I decided to go the major junior way, and to this day, I don't regret it. Of course, you were with Halifax in 2002 when you fell to the Scream Eagles in the playoffs. We always hear about that series from the Cape Breton perspective. Tell us about it on Halifax. I know you guys were probably happy with the season, had a bit of a younger group, but obviously it's never good to lose to your big rival. No, absolutely not. That was my first season there. Yeah, it definitely stung a little bit, but I believe we got him back afterwards, <laughs> the year after. It was definitely a good rivalry between those two teams, and it was a pleasure to play in, in those games on, on either side because I got the chance to, to play on either side. I also wanted to ask about 2003. Tough for you guys. Had a great team. Perhaps if you were in the other conference, it would have went the other way where you had to go through so many tough opponents, but you end up falling in Game 7 of the league final. Tell us about that playoff run, though. Obviously, a lot of great players on that group. Absolutely. That was one of my greatest memories, I think, of my junior career. That was great. We made it to, I believe, three game seven in that playoff run. By the end, we we're just exhausted. Just really gave it all. And really unfortunate that we lost that game seven at home in front of our fans. It still stinks to think about that one. Going back, of course, you're part of the infamous boomerang trade that still gets talked about to this day. From a player's point of view, for fans that don't remember, basically you started in Halifax, you went to Cape Breton, and then you went back to Halifax. From your point of view, how much of that were you kept in the loop on? Did you know the full details? Did you know when you came to Cape Breton you'd be going back to Halifax? I think they tried to keep it away from us for a little bit, but it didn't last very long. So actually, they kept away that we were going to Cape Breton the, as part of the first leg of the trade. We finished our year in Halifax and then found out that we were going to Cape Breton for one year. That's what we were told at that point. You just talked about it too. You experienced a rivalry on both sides. How tough was that for everybody involved where you're going to your biggest rival, that's one thing, but you know you're going back to the other side. I mean, that's such a bizarre dynamic. How was that difficult? It's obviously weird to put your opponent's jersey on for one season, but I got the best of the trade. I think I got to be on the good team for three consecutive years. I, I was pretty glad for that. Looking at life now, it looks like you've been playing in France for a long time. Tell us about the hockey over there. I'm assuming a lot of XQ players floating around. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of French Canadians in the league. There's uh, 11 French player limit in the team, and the rest can be Canadians. They can be Czech. They can be from anywhere. We see a lot of Q players in the league, a lot of French Canadian players, a lot of Canadian coaches also. So the game is very similar to what we can find back home. Bigger ice surface, so a little bit less of physicality, but... It's the same game, so we're having a pretty good league. It's a little bit underestimated here in France, the hockey. We're playing some good hockey here. Lastly, I'll ask, any thoughts on what life after hockey looked like? I'm sure you're just trying to enjoy it while you can for now. I'm definitely enjoying while I can, but as a 32-year-old, I have to plan for the future. I'm actually finishing my bachelor's degree this year. I've been working on that online for the past few years. That's in accounting, so we'll see where that takes us afterwards. Well, best of luck with that, and I'm glad to have you on to keep us up to date on what's going on over in Europe. Thanks for this, FP. Best of luck going forward. Thanks, Pat. That's FP Gannett joining us here at the intermission. You're listening to McDonald's Auto Group, Scream Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.